Hi, welcome to this video. We're going to change our theme. We have this blue theme up here and um, we're going to show you how to do that. NCMPCP is working and, and here um, we're going to close this up and say like so, super shift Q. Here is something open and we close everything up so every tag is now empty. And we're going to change our theme. All right, where should we do that? Well, I suggest you use Atom. Atom has the advantage that you have also a um, possibility to color it like for that you understand it. It's Lua. So you see here, temp, temp, and all the colors, widgets, widgets. You see the coloring is, is quite nice. And you, when you try to change stuff, you'll see that the coloring changes. If you just delete something here, everything changes. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Something is wrong because all the colors change. Control Z is a wonderful button. So we have two themes. We discussed our video. We started the video by checking out what's inside the awesome folder. And we have two themes available. They come from the copycats from GitHub from them. So all credits to them. We did change, of course, uh, some things. So all credits to us. <laughs> but the question is, how do we change from blue one, which is this one, to that one? That's the question we have. Well, if anything, it will not be here. This is where the theme is. If anywhere, it's not going to be. Let's go over everything again a little bit. How to start just starts application. So it's not going to be here either. Compton is going to change or uh, do the transparency. It's going to take out the shading and then fading and all that. So it's not either. So RC Lua is the only one because this is a conkey. So RC Lua is always the one, most often the one where you need to go to. Not always, of course. So we have minimaps we can navigate like this. We have our Lua syntax installed through another uh, tutorial. We can check it out there. And this is the look now. Okay, Whew. long intro, to do, control, F, theme. Why not? Use the search, use the power. And then we have one of 13. Okay, find, okay, here it is, found it. So what does it mean? It means that we have a variable definition and we have power arrow blue is number one and power arrow is number two. And here we say, choose your theme here, local chosen theme, theme one. So you get it probably what we need to do. We say theme two, save. How do we reload again? Super S, uh, here, Shift, Super R, Reload, awesome. Found it, Super Shift R. And there you go. We have now a different kind of um, look, color. Actually, color is just uh, a change of color because all the rest is here. We're in Belgium, aha, we're in Belgium, not in New York. Maybe you're following the videos one by one, I hope so. Then you'll say as well, like I do, hey, it's raining all the day. And in Belgium, yes, um, that's uh, the prospects. It's raining all the time, but we just made a tutorial about changing that widget to New York. Okay. How quickly, how I'm gonna teach you something else. What I would do is, hi, Mr. Frog, what I would do is super shift return, go to awesome, go to themes, and there is a difference. In this one we worked, in this one we didn't touch. So I will compare it, right mouse click, compare it. Okay, let's make this big, super full screen. How does he know? Super S, it's in here, super F, well, you have to go over the proper application, so you see the colors change. To the left, Super F, so I can really look and zoom in. So yes, I've changed the wooden floor, that's new there. Um, Wally GPG, yeah, okay, fine. Star Wars, fine, Team Lua, okay. Hey, what's this? This is something Steam Lua. What did we change? Melt, preferences, can't see one thing, so solarized light. Ah, now I can read. Now to get rid of this element, since 
well, this is a Windows Tiling Manager. There's no bar at the top to click on it. So, Super Shift Q. It always applies. Super Shift Q. So, you see, we have here some things that we actually have forgotten as well. So, the uh, element here, Wally GPG, needs to go. But here are all the colors. So, the colors we have changed, but it's the New York thing I'm looking. In the meantime, we've added caps. So the gaps are gone. Oh yeah, didn't notice it. There are no gaps anymore. You see? So the gaps are gone. That's what we changed in one of our tutorials. And then down here, somewhere down here, there is the city. So here is New York. I said, okay, that was it. I needed to have the code for New York. That's it. That's all we need to get. And then we can close everything and say, save it, please. We can come super F this so it's back and so full screen no full screen let's get rid of melt it's done its job so we've moved basically we moved the code from new york from here to here this is still a lot of rain it's still belgium super shift r clear sky heavy snow sky is clear okay so we have now the settings for new york so that's how we proceed and that's how you change uh, the colors if you like to you can go in further detail of course and say um, hey how to change everything but then you need, really need to go into team lua and change all these colors around and then you have a different webox because the panel this panel is called the webox all right so the focus color for instance to give one example focus color you see here the purple thing well it's purplish bluish Kind of thing that's that kind of color if you want another color choose another one and you have a complete new set of uh, colors all right have fun